we will now present a legend of the game who's moving to PGA immortal status. Let's have a look at this inspirational Australian PGA member. Kel Nagel, a member of PGF's advisory staff, the soul of quiet, good-humoured sportsmanship. Nagel's drive, the drive that won nine international championships. And there, the central figure, Kel Nagel of Australia, four to win. Oh, 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 did you ever see one like that? Nagel and Thompson have won golf's most coveted cup, a great performance by two great players against the best from 30 countries. Nagel with two to win. He's got it. Well done, well done. And so Kelvin Nagel of Australia wins the Centenary Open Championship. He is one of Australia's great sporting heroes. When I started as an assistant at Pimble Golf Club, um, the boss showed me the grip and the stance and I worked it out for myself. I practiced early in the morning and late in the afternoon, putting green at lunchtime. Worked out what I wanted to do. So I've really enjoyed the journey, and uh, it, it's one of those one of those things that uh, later in life, it's it's very pleasant to look back on, on all the friendships that I've made, the places that I've been to. To you, Cal Nagel, congratulations. Have a great day, and I think it's only appropriate that all those people in Australia are having a party for you. What a great man, a great golfer. I'd like to invite back to the stage Roger Davis to say a few words about Kel. And also we're joined by Colin and Jake Nagel to accept the medal on behalf of Kel. What an honour this is. Um, I've no, actually grew up with the family and to induct Kel Nagel as a PGA immortal is, makes me so proud. Colin, I arrived at Norman Hurst Boys High at the age of 12 and Colin was the captain of the Norman Hurst Boys team and we won that year and we won for the next five. So he was something very special. I then was still an amateur golfer and played at Pimble Golf Club with Bruce, the other son, and found a fantastic man in Kel Nagel who was the pro at Pimble Golf Club. He introduced me to Peter Thompson to B Billy Dunk, to all these great Australian players. And I'd just like to say that Kel Nagel won 95 tournaments worldwide. He won 61 in Australia, which included six Australian PGAs, one Australian Open, seven New Zealand Opens, and eight New Zealand PGAs. But he won all around the world. I mean, 11 tournaments in Europe. But the most famous ones that we all remember was playing with his best mate, Peter Thompson, in two wins in Canada Cups, which is now called the World Cup. He also, if you saw on the screen there, beat Arnold Palmer in the 1964 Canadian Open. He also beat Arnold Palmer in the 1960 Centennial Open, which we all remember that it was one of the greatest wins in Australian golf. And I'd really like to welcome Cole and Jake to accept the immortal status for Kel Nagel on behalf of the PGA.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, fellow uh, pros, this is a great honour. Uh, I think if Dad was here, he would say, um, give it to someone else who deserves it. Uh, that's the type of man he was. He was a great golfer, but also a great man. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone, for that, the PJ especially, for this presentation. He did win six. And he did beat Arnold Palmer in the 1966 Australian PGA. And that year he also beat uh, Nicholas Player and his great mate Tomo. So that was probably by six shots and that was probably his best PGA win. But his wins went back to 1949. And I think Cameron Smith, he's won three. You've got a bit of work to do, you've got another three to get. Um, <laughs> But he was, um, he was a great man, uh, very humble. Um, I don't know, he, his putting stroke um, was fantastic and I can assure you it's not hereditary. <laughs> um, it's great to see Ian Baker Finch who also won the Open and I think um, uh, his peers and, and pros would also appreciate it. It's just such a great tournament to win. But thanks very much for the award and uh, We'll make sure the family uh, treasures this. Thank you.